The Cowgirls are NCAA tournament bound, but let's take a look at how they got to this point. OSU started the season with a 3-3-1 record. They recorded wins over Abilene Christian and UTSA, where they racked up five goals. Despite losses to Iowa State at home 1-0 and in overtime in the downpour against Baylor, the Cowgirls continued their campaign with key wins in the Big 12 Conference. One of those came in Austin over Texas, where Haley Woodard scored for OSU in double overtime. The Cowgirls followed up the big win in Austin by knocking off Texas Tech at home. OSU dropped a tough Bedlam matchup by a score of 2-0. However, the Cowgirls bounced back, recording wins over TCU and Arkansas Little Rock. The Cowgirls then went on the road and faced Big 12 regular season and tournament champion West Virginia. OSU lost the matchup. The Cowgirls were knocked out in the first round of the Big 12 tournament last week. OSU faced a Baylor team that would eventually be knocked out in the next round by TCU with a lone goal coming on a penalty kick. Coach Colin Carmichael is really excited to see what the Cowgirls can do in their first NCAA tournament since 2014. I feel like we have a new lease of life uh, with this game and almost like a reprieve after our, our approved performance against Baylor. So we want to make that right. And, you know, we'll give Colorado the respect they deserve. They're a good team, but we're focused on us. We, we want to make sure we play hard and play well. For senior and Go Big 12 Player of the Year, Courtney DK, she looks at the game as an opening for the Cowgirls. In NCAA, anything can happen. So whether you're one seed or anything, um, on any given day, anyone can be anyone. So uh, you just got to go in like, like it's a regular game and play soccer. That's the only way you'll have a chance to win. For the Cowgirls, the road to a national championship will lead them to Boulder, where they will play former Big 12 opponent, Colorado. The game is slated to start at 1 central time. For the Poke Report, I'm Nick Skidmore.